Chelsea are dent in the Premier League. They do need a bit of fixing. It's Thomas to kill out and S2G in. Time to fix Chelsea. I think our first objective with this Chelsea team is to get them back to winning the Premier League. And I'm looking at this squad and I'm feeling like we've got the players to do the job. Aubameyang's a new transfer literally on deadline day from Barcelona. They've signed Sterling this window. Koulibaly. Fafana and Cucurella as well for the future. I mean, Chelsea do look good. I don't know what Thomas Tuchel was doing. And to add to all of that, we've got about 113 million which we can spend. The first thing we had to decide was whether we want to stick with the five at the back formation or not. And I thought, you know what, with the players Chelsea have signed, the likes of Cucurella, I think we need to stick with this formation and just see how it goes. First thing I'm going to be doing in this window is replacing my centre-backs. I, I love Thiago Silva. I love Aspili Quetta, but they're, they're old. They're really old and we need to get some fresh blood in. I know Chelsea have signed the likes of Fafana and Zakaria, but I still feel like we need a star player in there. So I decided to sign Milan Skriniar from Inter. PSG apparently wanted him, but well, instead we've got him. Putting him into that starting 11 and instantly it's a big upgrade. Now we have to sacrifice a certain someone to sign him. Goodbye Aspili Quetta, you'll always be remembered. We also had so many offers for Kai Havertz. Arsenal wanted him, Bayern wanted him, but I feel like there was no way we're selling him. Because I had plans for King Kai Havertz. I'm not a big fan of Ziyech, so I'm thinking Havertz playing in that right wing position is just perfect. But it will take about 13 more weeks to convert him to a proper right winger. We can wait. It was now time for our Premier League debut. We had so many debutants for this game. Skriniar, Koulibaly, Aubameyang, Sterling, all of them making their debut. I was kind of nervous to see how we'll get along with Chelsea and their five at the back system. We've only technically signed Skriniar to improve the team, but then I realized the signings Chelsea made in real life are more than good enough, especially Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling? Raheem Sterling? He's quick, he's quick. Cut back for a bombing, and that's the first goal in our Chelsea fixing challenge. Come on, Pierre Emerick or Bamiang. Still Raheem Sterling opening up space. Oh, the post, but then the rebound. Raheem Sterling is actually unreal. A goal and an assist. What a signing he's going to be for us. Our next couple of games in the Premier League were a bit tricky against Arsenal and Liverpool, but we managed to get draws. At this point, Trans window was done and we were seventh in the Premier League, but you would have seen we played some tough games and we're still unbeaten and i think that matters a lot this is the squad we're gonna trust for this season i still feel i have a few problems i'm not quite sure how good obamiang is he's already gone down by one overall plus we need to get havertz accustomed to the right wing position hopefully in the first half of the season we can get done with all that the premier league is our priority but don't forget when the champions league as well and our next game is against juventus i think this is where we'll find out where our team's stands on a global level. This one against Juve was never going to be easy because look at the investments they've made. Di Maria, Pogba, they managed to sign Araujo from Barcelona. This was going to be our toughest game yet. This game against Juventus did not start well for us. Oh my god, what have Juventus just done? How have they scored that? And after the first goal, they came back with another. It was from Vlahovic. Vlahovic, no. Come on, Vlahovic is insane. Yo, we need to keep tabs on him. Boys, I'm not sure if Aubameyang is the man for the future. We need to keep tabs on a player like Vlahovic. You guys saw what he did against us. Just after the Juventus game, we got some horrendous news. Thiago Silva is out with an ACL injury. He's out for the next seven months, being 36? I think that's his career done. We lost Aspiliqueta. We've now lost Thiago Silva. This is a problem. Good thing is, Zakaria was Chelsea's new signing recently, so we can put him there. And Fafana can warm the bench for now. But also, that means we'll need a new captain who's worthy of being captain. I think for now, it's going to be Jorginho. With Thiago Silva out injured, we lost a bit of leadership. And because of that, we were down to 8th in the Premier League. This next game against Man City was a chance to get back on top of things. Time to see what Zakaria is all about. I knew we couldn't compete with Man City head-to-head, -head, so all we did was drop back and wait for the counter, and guess what it worked? Oh, space opened up. Aubameyang. Aubameyang. Oh, that's brilliant from Aubameyang. All the criticism, yet still scoring for us. But then the pressure from Man City was insane. The amount of chances they had. My God. Mares. Oh, no. Haaland. 
What a save from Mendy. Erling Haaland. I don't know how we're going to manage to stop him. Haaland again. And this time it's off the post. We're surviving. But ultimately, once again on the break, we strike. And I must say, we got lucky this game. I have Ertz, who's really not had a good season so far. Tries to bring it inside. Still have Ertz. That's more like it. That's the first time I've seen what Kai Havertz is all about. And he's... He's breakdancing to celebrate that. Zakaria really impressed me, guys. I think we might be fine without Thiago Silva. We're now in the month of December. Mo Salah had managed to win the Ballon d'Or. And we were actually doing pretty well, you know. Second in the Premier League. We'd figure things out with this Chelsea team. Let's go. To be honest, guys, Aubameyang was, was carrying this side. Mad that he's 83, going down in his overall, but he's still performing. The group stages of the Champions League were done. But look what had happened. Absolutely carnage. We're being sent to the Europa League. This just goes to show we're not good enough yet for of course the big leagues. I think we need to get to January and maybe make some reinforcements because this is a big wake up call. The good thing is we were winning most of our games as we get into January and we were neck and neck with Man City for the Premier League title halfway through the season. We've got about 80 million to spend. I think we need to bring a new striker just to reinforce that attack. The Bombyang is worth the about 28 million. I know he's been great for us, but maybe a swap deal is smart right now. Dusan Vlahovic was the player who basically knocked us out of the Champions League. I'm thinking, we get him, we should be good to go, but can we afford him? 60 million plus Aubameyang is what I offered, and that actually worked. Vlahovic has been signed. Unbelievable. 84 rated, his value is 82 million. Like, this is a top class signing. Two points separating us and Man City, and we now play them and it's Vlahovic's debut. This is a chance for Vlahovic to announce his arrival in the Premier League. Vlahovic had a dream debut to start this game off. Oh, Vlahovic has made the run. Vlahovic controls it well. It's a chance and it's put it in. How has he managed to squeeze that? Vlahovic on his Chelsea debut has scored. He's the player that's going to get us back in business. But then we saw what Man City were all about. Oh my god, Kevin De Bruyne? What was that? Oh, they're gonna score. It's Erling Haaland. Man City are still insane. Even with the signing of Vlahovic, looks like Man City are still a level above us. We were now five points off Man City after that defeat. I feel like in midfield, we're lacking a bit of playmaking ability. And that's what's letting us down. So, Jorginho is going to be going to the bench. And we're going to have Mason Mount being our new central midfielder. Let's hope that works. Oh, what a ball that is for Kai Havertz. I'm going to be sweaty and squaring for Vlahovic. It's the smart thing to do. We take the lead in the Carabao Cup final. This Mason Mount show so well done. So well done. We should still get the goal and Vlahovic puts it in. Mason Mount has transformed our midfield. And look at us now. We're dominating City. And with that, we win our first trophy with Chelsea. But after the cup final, we had a bit of bad news. Raheem Sterling is injured. Sterling's going to be out for a couple of months with a broken toe. The good news is we've got the American dream, Christian Pulisic. 84 rated. I think he should do just fine. Pulisic had really stepped up in the absence of Sterling. He scored 14 goals. Pretty much the same as Sterling. And because of that, we've actually got a genuine chance of winning the Premier League title. Last game of the season, we're two points clear of City. All we need to do is win. Yup, we win against Bournemouth, we win the Premier League title. I was expecting this to be an easy ride, but oh well. Oh my god, no way. We can't be bottling the Premier League like this. But guys, there was absolutely no way we were bottling the Premier League. Lahovic, tough angle, but he's put it in. That's why we signed him. Goal machine himself. We kept the pressure on after Vlahovic's equaliser and we saw something special from Captain America himself. Looking for Pulisic on the volley. What a finish. The man has taken his opportunity with both hands in the absence of Sterling. He's about to score the goal that wins us the Premier League title. And there's the Premier League title with Chelsea. Come on. Not a bad first season, I'd say, winning the Premier League. Of course, the ultimate goal is still the champion. 
Champions League, but we took an L there. And hilariously, we got knocked out of the Europa League. But not a bad first season. Our signings thrive. Look at Vlahovic. 16 and 17 games. We're ready for season two. We start off season two with one goal, and that is to win the Champions League. I don't know how I've pulled this off, but we've managed to sell Hakim Ziyech for 40 million to Inter. Oh, I forgot to even show you guys. Our budget is ridiculous. I'm still figuring out at the moment what do we actually need to improve this team. We've got a really good attack, a solid midfield and defense as well. The depth we've got is crazy at the club with the likes of Batshuayi, Callum Hudson, and Doyle all coming back. I'm liking the squad we've got. I was literally ready to use this squad for the entire season because I thought we could win the Champions League with this. But then I got an offer for Kai Havertz from Liverpool. I'll go and sign someone better. Kai Havertz has been sold to Liverpool. Since we are going for the Champions League this season, why not go for a player in his prime? Remember, we saw him win the Ballon d'Or last season. I think we sign him. And there you go. The deal is done. We've signed Mo Salah. And there you have it, boys. Mo Salah back at Chelsea. Oh, that attack now looks really nice. I should put Sterling back into the team as well. I like it. I absolutely like it. In all honesty, I think I'm good with this Chelsea team. We could maybe improve the back line, getting a better centre-back than Zakaria, but he's actually pretty OP. Solid bench too. I think we're going to stick with it for this season. Let's go win the Champions League. Our Champions League group has been revealed and this should be pretty easy to top. Last season, we were awful in the Champions League group stages. This time, completely different game. I'm Sterling. Conte. Cut. Oh, what? How did Salah squeeze that in? I'm confused. That's either an unbelievable finish or shocking goalkeeping. I think it's a bit of both. Sterling, cut back. That is such a simple goal. Our attack is insane. Mason Mount is so good. What a ball for Vlahovic on the volley. That's why we signed Vlahovic, and that's why Mount is a starter for us now. And with that, we convincingly top our Champions League group, and we're unbeaten. Also, Premier League, our title defense is going down pretty well. Just one defeat so far. Also, Robert Lewandowski at Barcelona ended up winning the Ballon d'Or. I would have loved to see Salah win it. We're now heading into January, and we'll need to soon decide whether we want to make more improvements to the team. But I took a look at this team, and I just couldn't find even one single position where I would want an improvement, so we decided to stick by it. The Champions League knockouts were in full flow and we started off with a bang knocking out Club Rouge. But after that, the tournament got really interesting. Champions League quarterfinals, we were up against Bayern. And we had to endure a bit of an injury crisis. Ben Chilwell is going to miss both legs against Bayern. Kuli Bali is out with an ACL injury and his season is pretty much over. That means Chelsea's new signing for Fana is going to come up clutch. He's going to be a starter for the rest of this season and so is Cucurella for the next few games at least. By the way at this point of the season Vlahovic was posting godly numbers. 34 goals in 48 games so far. What even? But the question is can we do it against Bayern Munich? Do we have this video without something silly happening? Of course not. That's how Bayern got their first goal. Come on Mendy. Come on Mendy. I know you can save this. Ah oh, we're 1-0 down. But after that we got a free kick and this happened. Mason Mount from 18 yards Bro, if he can put this one in, it would be the dream. It's actually insane. Mason Mount, what a free kick. That's what he's all about. Let's score 1-1 against Bayern. From then on, some more dodgy penalties, but ultimately we came through. We've now got one, and I'm going to take this one with Vlahovic. Let's put this one top left corner. Bro, that was a ruthless penalty. We take the lead. Oh, this is easy. Too easy for Vlahovic, who just keeps scoring. And that's how the game ends. 3-1. We simmed the second leg and we still beat Bayern 3-2. We've built a monstrous Chelsea team. But now, we were going to endure the ultimate test. We were up against PSG. Look at that. Neymar has been firing goals for PSG. He's competing with Vlahovic. Messi has scored five. And Mbappe as well. Those three can destroy us. Ben Chilwell is actually back from his injury, but I'm still going to stick with Cucurella, because I feel like on the pitch he's better. Here goes nothing. Chelsea versus PSG. Fair to say the game started off well for us, but we got super lucky with the referee. Vlahovic is becoming a pen merchant, boys, but you know what? Let's see if he can score this one. 
What a pen. Don Rumor stood no chance. But then PSG showed what they're all about. Oh, Marco Verratti, and there's the equalizer for PSG. It wasn't going to be a cakewalk this game, that's for sure. We quickly managed to take the lead of the game. Oh, Salah squaring it for Raheem Sterling, and I can't believe he hit the crossbar from there. But we take the lead again. Then PSG managed to get the equalizer for the second time. This was one of the most end-to-end -end games I had played. No, no, that, that's just silly. How did we give him that much space? This game has been so end-to-end. -end. At the end of it, it was 2 all, and the second leg's gonna decide everything. All we gotta do is beat PSG in this game, and we'll be in the Champions League final. We started this game off in the worst possible way. God damn, these penalties, man. Guys, I refuse to believe this video game is for real. This was given as a penalty. What am I supposed to do here? Mbappe's taking this one. Mendy needs to save this. Mbappe scores. But then we pulled ourselves together and things started to work out. Oh, look at that space. Look at that space for Mo Salah. It's a big chance for him, but he's on his right foot and he still managed to score. That's a brilliant finish from Mo Salah. Of course, then came the moment where I thought we were going to win it, but then we hit the post. Ponte. Asi Vlahovic, Asi Vlahovic. Oh no, it's off the post. No. But ultimately, Vlahovic gets his 13th goal in the Champions League and fires us to, of course, the final. Mason Mount sliding this one for Vlahovic. This is his chance. Can he score? This time he does not miss. That should be the goal that sends us through to the final. And with that, we're in the Champions League with the chance to complete this video. It's Liverpool we're facing. Talking about Liverpool, we managed to beat them, City and United to the Premier League title. That's two in two. Also, we managed to win the FA Cup against Aston Villa. That means we win the Champions League and it's a treble. I was ready to get into this Champions League final against Liverpool, but then I noticed this. Vlahovic suffered a knock in training. He's going to be out for three weeks. He sprained his ankle in training just before the Champions League final. You can't write this. And he was our top scorer with 45 goals. How insane is that? What do I do now? The only other striker we've got is Michi Batshuayi. Am I really going to have to play Michi Batshuayi in the Champions League final? Yup, I don't see there's any other choice. I think I'm going to have to use Michi Batshuayi in this Champions League final. Can we still fix Chelsea? See, hopefully. I was nervous for this Champions League final, but it started off in the most end-to-end -end way possible. Oh, Reese James just burst through there looking for an early ball for Mo Salah, and we get the first goal in the Champions League. No Vlahovic, no problem. Mo Salah scores against his former club in a Champions League final. How about Still Havertz? Oh my god. Guys, it it's hilarious how Salah scored against his former club and former Chelsea player Havertz ripped this apart. But then you won't believe who got us ahead. Sterling? Cut back for Batshuayi. You can't ride this. You literally can't ride this. Michi Batshuayi. He wasn't supposed to be here. Oh my god. He's ended up scoring possibly the winner in the Champions League. And finally we got the moment to try and wrap things up. It's a mount. That's a lovely ball for Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling now 1v1 against, of course, Liverpool. And that should be the goal that gets the job done. And with that, we've achieved greatness. We've got Chelsea back to the top, won the Champions League with them, couple of Premier League titles, and we fixed them basically in two seasons, basically 700 days, job done.